Hey YouTube, FlakeJacket1000 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the hammer strut. And what the hammer strut is, is the back piece um, right in here that um, pushes up on the hammer and allows it, well, causes it to spring forward. Uh, actually, the spring causes it to spring forward, but um, the spring pushes on that and it kind of channels the energy up into the hammer so <clears throat> let me just take that out for you take the pin out and the hammer with the strut and uh, the the pin that I have in there right there I actually uh, found it uh, it's a rivet uh, stem that I cut off I don't know if you can see that, it's just a small pin. But uh, anyway, so the the strut goes and uh, sits right inside the, in the middle of the hammer right there. And um, that just slides right out once you take the pin out. And this is what the hammer looks like. I mean, sorry, not the hammer, the strut looks like. And... Um, so that it's pretty simple. I mean, all I did was go to the blueprint where that is, and I printed off uh, about twenty-three pieces. Twenty? No, twenty. It was twenty-one. So it was twenty-one pieces of um, this blueprint that I printed off. I keep on dropping it, and uh, one. You just layer them together, just glue them together, and then, of course, drill that hole uh, with a, I can't remember what size drill bit, I think it was the smallest one in there, so whatever that was. <laughs> um, but the blueprints tell you what size hole to do anyway, and you can, if you have one of them measurements or you have drill bits, you can see yourself. And uh, when, when you, when you um, glue these together, there's this bottom half here that you want to grind on the sides to make it a, a round piece at the very bottom right there. And uh, that's just so it makes it easier to sit inside the mainspring housing. So you make it round at the bottom there. Sorry it's not focusing in, focusing in good. But it's round there at the bottom when you grind it. And uh, so yeah, it just, that's, that's pretty much it. It just sits in the hammer, and let me give you a little demonstration of that real fast. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's just uh, the little pins are rolling around. Uh, now I haven't round actually rounded the piece, the hammer strut, yet, and that's just because I was uh, wanting to make the video while I had the chance. So, but I'll, I'll round that <clears throat> bottom half. All right, let me line up the holes here. Man, it's hard to line it up with one hand. And I think I got it. Alright, I think I finally got it. Sorry about making y'all wait through all that. But, uh, so now that I got that pin in, I'm going to um, show you a demonstration of what it does, even though pretty simple okay so put that there and get the um, hammer pin put that in and there you go so that's how it, it looks like um, inside the gun that's going to be sitting right down there and through the mainspring and uh, oh I forgot to mention real fast um, the hammer strut is going to be 0.107 and that's pretty straightforward it says that right on the blueprint and 
if you divide that by 0 0.005, which is the thickness of an average piece of paper, or the least, least the ones I have, uh, it'll equal about 21. And so you'll use, I'd probably say about from 17 to 21 pieces, depending on your thickness of paper and how much glue you use. So of course, measure as you go, so you don't mess up and accidentally do too much, because that'd be terrible, and you have to just start over or shave off layers. And I used my Mac for this and did 33% zoom. On Windows, uh, I've heard complaints and I've tried myself and it's, it seems like um, if you try to change the zoom itself, it won't do it for the small pieces for some reason. So what I've tried is um, there's something called snipping tool on Windows 7 and up or something like that. And uh, you go to the start menu and uh, it'll be there on the start menu and you just take a picture of your piece and then um, you can zoom from there I think and uh, click current view and all that and uh, you should be able to figure it out if not I uh, actually found out one time how to exactly do it but I have it somewhere in my co I commented somewhere on uh, someone on a video about it but I uh, you should be able to figure it out but anyway, this is the function of it. So, say you pull back the hammer, and this goes down, pushing against the mainspring. And then you pull the trigger, and the sear is removed from the the hammer here. The sear be in those little notches. And uh, Tacom, 1942, he has videos showing that function. Uh, and then, of course, the mainspring will just push up on that, raising that, and knocking against the firing pin like that so it's pretty simple pretty simple design so anyways thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode